Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Fallout for a survival roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul. And I paused because, oh my god! Ah! 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 Oh my god! Ah! Ah! It's hell! War is hell! Oh god! Oh, he's got a sniper! Why do Words, words are for the educated. Okay. Gosh. Well, that was hilarious of a moment. Just screaming wildly. So anyway, this is the Boston Library. You can uh, see that in fact there are some pretty crazy parts that happen inside the library. Uh, I'm not sure why it just sort of unloads on you like this, suddenly filled to the brim with tons of people just attacking from all directions. But, uh, it's fun. Subway entrance. Subway entrance. Throw another grenade. Okay, we need to save the grenades because the subway entrance is just over here. All right, all right. Throw the grenade. Through. Perfect. Second grenade thrown. Perfect. All right, we're going to pull out a frag mine. Whoop. Second frag mine. Whoop. Frag mine. Whoop. All right, we're rocking back. I love how it actually gives you information on where they're attacking from. All right, we feel pretty safe on this side. Back into this direction. Oh, we're being fired upon from the right side. We've been flanked. We have been flanked. Is the Protecton Watcher turning on us? Oh, no, it's a mutant hound. Oh, I gotcha. Throw. Okay, grenades, grenades. Needed grenades. That's mines again. Don't want mines. I want a plasma grenade, sir. Yes. Boom. Super Mutant Brute. Two shots, Mutant Hound. Single shot. Actually, go backwards with that. No, no, no. no. Oh, that guy's up close. First the Hound. Then the Brute. Uh, we have one dude here. All right. He's actually going to die in a single shot, but he, we can't see him yet. Ah, uh, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Finish you. One shot to you. Two shots to you. I love how it leaves a trail of fire behind it when it fires our gainer gun all right brute hello brute got him in the butt oh and he's on fire that looks painful Ooh, you're not dead okay what about you shoot shoot Ooh. oh we're just out of ap that sucks okay backing off out of ammo too Ooh, grenade nearby grenade nearby backing off backing off backing off really low health pretty damn low so let's uh eat some of those delicious foods that we have I say a hermit crab sounds like a great idea. Ups their endurance as well. Plasma grenade thrown out. Holy crap, that's close. These grenades are killer. All right, good. day starts again. This hasn't been too much of a problem. Ooh, hello. What am I even using? Oh, fireball again. I should call this the fireball. That's a good name for this gun. So let's try this again. Start lobbing grenades over the top. Just no problems. Moving forward, grenade through the center, perfect. Continue pushing forward, continue pushing. Hello. Oh, right in the neck. Continue pushing, now we know that they're coming from that side. Oh God, oh God, I'm on fire. Okay, stim packs. Grenade, hello. Uh, Brute behind the brute. Interesting. Uh, how about the arm? Yeah, let's do the arm. Single dead. All right, one more throw. Holy crap. Is that a super mutant? That's, uh, no. Let's shoot that guy again. Pop back. In again. Grenade. Hup. Hello, you super mutant. Bruh. How about a shot to the face? Woo! Did his head come off? There's a lot of movement happening along the Another super mutant brute. Unfortunately, we cannot hit him in the face quite the same way. Grenade through the door. Back off. It looks... Oh, he's going to throw something. I feel it in my bones. No, he's falling over? Yeah, he's falling down. Well, I was incorrect then. Oh, we, we took out his legs. I gotcha. All right, so pushing forward, we've been able to establish some more dominance on this side. Well, damn on on fire. I forgot I named it such a silly thing. Let's replace the fragmentation with a Molotov. 
Let's take some water. That'll increase our healing, keep us hydrated. Nobody coming from that side. Super mutant over there. Dead real quick. No problem. Move, 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 move. Protection on Watcher. Good, good. All right. Um, I'm trying to get back to where... Because they're going to be coming out from below us again here. Perfect. Throw on grenades. Bounce them off the walls. All right. Is there a place for me to put up a door? Perfect. This is my safe grenade door. I go onto the side of that door to get a little safety when things are going crazy, crazy. Because grenades are being thrown around. Right, we're going to drop mines off the top. There we go. Mines off the top. These will only explode when they have proximity to people. So that's a really safe bet. Hit. Hit. Uh, can't hit you. Not enough AP. Pow. Next shot. Taking you out too. This is really intense. I love it. Second throw. Whew, that looked like it would explode in air. Again. Hello, mutant. Oh! <laughs> Taking him out. All right, back Security off. Security breach neutralized. Visitors may now come and go as they please. All employees, please return to work. Jesus Christ. Did employees? That, like, that's like a normal day for these guys? I go. Super moons attacked again. God, look at this carnage. That one's still dying. All right, I'm going to drop a save, I think, right now. Then I'm going to start looting some of those legendaries. Ooh. Oh, I still haven't even picked this up. Nice. Now we got it. Master lock. I wonder what's in there. But it's like a fat man or something. We're getting a lot of interesting pistols all of a sudden. I want to consider that the 10 millimeter 50% damage against robots is going to be particularly useful because there's just so few robots everywhere. But I mean, it's light. It might actually be worth carrying around. Definitely will not replace our violent, which does 25% damage to everything. Melee attackers every 20 seconds. It's kind of interesting. I uh, don't think we'll use that one either. It's like, as a person who doesn't fight in melee, you don't tend to get hit by people with melee a lot because you tend to kite them, right? You tend to back off. Now, if I was somebody who, you know, fought melee, I could totally see there being a reason why that would be useful. Also, side note, if I wanted to uh, farm some of those legendaries, I oh, I actually don't know if it how that works. If I reloaded now, would the legendaries be different even though they died? I think they'd probably be the same. I would like uh, someone's opinion on that. If you reload a legendary uh, from a farming, do you have to kill them again? Or can it just be that you killed them once and it just keeps resetting that legendary? This one had a minigun. Jesus Christ. So I really liked the fact that I had my uh, protection right here, this door, because we kept getting killed by grenades. And so I was like, oh my goodness, if we put this door closed, that means I will always have a place. He's just so intact still. Anyway, what was I saying? A place that was going to be safe from the grenades, basically. Yep. Okay. God, all this destruction. This is pretty sick spot. I really like this. I'm picking up the... Huh. I'm picking up anything that's, uh, me like, microfusion cell because we kind of low on those ammunitions. Do you need, like, some help? Like a punch? <laughs> no, that's not going to do it. All right. So I was hoping that some more overdue books would get knocked around after such a set of explosions and the like. But I don't really see anything anywhere. They didn't really get anywhere but this room and the entrance of the sewer. Oh, God. Um, ooh, library storage room key. We can get into that now. So I'm very excited to see what lore-based thing caused all this. Given's log. More and more difficult, but we were able to get hold of a few more books today. I overheard Dalen telling Shelby that we should just compress the archives now and get out of here. Thought about smacking upside his fucking head, but I don't blame him for wanting to cut and run. It's been tough and we lost so many. I wonder if these guys came from right after the war. I told them they could leave whenever they wanted to. I'm not going to force them to stay. If they don't believe in what we're doing here, then it's better if we just get out of their way. We've lost a few more, including Shelby. She will be missed, but I know she wouldn't have it had it any other way. What we're doing here is important. There's still a lot of books left. This knowledge will help all future generations. It's... Yeah. I can't keep the bots repaired anymore. The mutants are hitting us at least once a day. Unless we get help, it's only a matter of time. 
the wipe was like, this may be the last log on the right. If it is, all I ask is that the person reading this does the right thing. Help us protect the information stored on the computers in the data room. Is behind the terminal. There are some supplies you may find useful there. Interesting. So, no, these people actually came in after the bombs fell, found this place, and decided that they needed to store as much information as they possibly could. Ooh, that's fascinating. I mean, it's kind of an interesting thing. Like, why would you protect books, nice. right? But the point was, is like, look, it's going to help everyone forever if we're able to provide information that is, you know, like, from everyone. Oh, Dalen. That explains why they weren't just a ton of skeletons. Like, that they were actually human beings laying around on these. Ooh, another... I can't believe I missed those. They were so obvious, but I guess it was just very active. So now uh, we get that... Oh, there's another book right here. Nope, that's just red. Anyway, let's look in here. Hello? Fuck yeah, I'll take a bottle cap mine. Stealth boy, I mean, it's just good for selling. Why not? Wow, gamma runs? Rifle? What? Oh, sheesh. A lot of stuff in here. Rat away, snub nosed. I'll take the snub nose purely for the sake that uh, it'll provide us a little bit more 44 rounds. So, this is the data room that they're referring. They're putting all the information onto here, I'm guessing. Oh, here we go. This is, yeah, okay. And so they were trying to just get all the books in here so that future generations could have access to it. I consider that a very noble goal. And unfortunate that they died whilst it was going on. Still a very noble goal in general. Because, I mean, I can't access any of the data. But could you imagine, like, going back to Diamond City with all this information of, like, generations of information about medicine, about politics, history, what happened... Like, people still don't really get what happened during the war except us because we were there. That's something that I find. This is a very valuable, useful thing to the people of this time. Now, where is that turn-in book spot? There's, uh, we got a lot of books to turn in, and I want to get that journal. Oh, there you are. I just passed you. Return over to books. Yes. Oh, baby. Spend tokens. There it is. Boop. You're about to say, yes, I am. 2% limb damage. Hell yeah. That's awesome. So, do they just have a... Oh, zero remaining. I was curious if... I wonder if they just have a bunch of these all over the place that you can just keep getting these journals for. Anyway, getting the intelligence bobblehead alone was useful to this place. Alright, that's my final save in this location. Let's continue on to uh, doing the Cabot thing at Good Neighbor. You know, I really like... This guy looks like Stiggs in the background. Um, Sturges? Not Stiggs. Sturges. He looks like Sturges in the background. I think that's kind of a cool thing. So we have a level up. I guess uh, let's check what options we have. We can continue doing Rifleman. That actually could be pretty legit. I mean, we have that weapon. Ooh, we could also pop up our ninja. Let's do Rifleman. Why not keep pumping up our uh, sexy, sexy... Gamma pistol, especially because we have the most ammunition with this, and so it's been very useful just generally as we've been walking around. So I'm pretty okay with the idea of spending a perk to just keep pushing this up. I mean, actually giving it a look right now, 120 damage. Two shots. Like, that's... I mean, compared to the well damn I'm on fire, it's kind of doing the same amount of damage just in two bits. So the well damn on fire is definitely better because when you do a critical, it will do the critical on that once. You know, I'm actually not sure how true that is. If I'm to use a critical... With this gun, do you think both bullets come out with critical power? You know, I've never been in Trinity Church either. Ah, screw it. Trinity Church it is. I do happen to know what's in here, though. The last one, I knew what was in there from the sake of... Uh, but I didn't realize how the super mutants attacked. I know that there's a journal in here that I want, and I know that there are super mutants in here, too. So we're going to be using the violent guy right now. Just because, you know, the silence. The shh. Super Mutant, Super Mutant Brute. This actually might be worth just taking out the... Uh, oh, there we go. There's the other ones. Skirmisher. I think we should go after the Brute. He's got the most dangerous looking thing on him. So let's put off the light. There we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Boom. All right, you just are going to burn now. So it seems like the AI isn't very good in the fact that it just ran down uh, and fell down there. And now we're in caution. There's the dog. And it's dead. Are we good? Is that everyone? Well, that was a pretty easy thing to take a stop off and do. Hello? Yeah, it seems like that was all of them. 
That worked out well. I don't need your minigun. Yep, astoundingly awesome tails. Five damage against super mutants. That's pretty good. You know, I think it's kind of interesting that in the Trinity Church, well, hey, they're boiling people, it's a burnt textbook right there. Like, I don't know if the game doesn't have Bibles or if they consider Bibles to be textbooks because, you know, they are historical documentation from the past. And I don't mean in like a, a That's it. where it's like historical documentation of what happened during that era. I mean, ooh, overdue book. I mean, like what happened during the our, our era, you know, like the era of people prior to the war rather than like people who are like the uh, the Philippians or whatever. What are they called? God, I can't remember what they were called. The Philippians just sounds wrong to me. Oh, oh, <laughs> physics, physics. Oh, there's a lot of sad people dying in the church. Together, at least, though. That's cute. Or maybe they're hiding out and making out. That could be kind of cute. Especially, maybe it was even sexual because you can see his hand is kind of on a crotch. I mean, there's no way to really guarantee that, especially because you can, like... Oh, wait. Oh, actually, that might have been significantly more on purpose because I can't really move them out of their physics position. That would be funny if it was a couple who was just have getting on because the passion gets them excited. And that's a weird statement, but let me explain it. If you've ever read, um, did something fall down here? Huh. If you've ever read The Grapes of Wrath, the character, JC something, he's uh, the preacher. He talks about how he would basically, he would do a, a sermon and then he would have sex with some of the girls after the sermon. And it's like, as a priest, it's like, okay, well, that just seems like a big no-no, doesn't it? And the I, argument that he was talking about, he's like, I can't think that this is actually bad because if God is making people feeling so excited and the like, it's not a bad thing to do that. And I thought that was kind of an interesting point that he was trying to bring up. He was like, if the, you know, people are so fired up with passion that they want to bang, then they should bang. And I was like, oh, okay. So, and that's what I'm referencing upstairs with the guy putting his hand in the potentially girl's crotch. Also, here's a safe with a lot of nice stuff in it. Another overdue book. Woo, we're getting a lot of those. Now that I'm just looking for them and I realize how useful they are. Jesus Christ, there's a third overdue book down here. I mean, we are in like a book area, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's school. Oh, no, it's the choir. I liked how the chem cooler has a drug, of course. Oh, it's the kid's room. Of course, we find a vault tech lunchbox here. I love how we met the guy who made those. Ooh, we can go to the back bay this way. Alrighty then. That's kind of an interesting way to enter. I could see that being a sneaky way if you were a little worried about fighting the super moons. Oh, hey, there's the tower if we wanted to get the melee bobblehead. Oh, for, wait, Vault 114. Is that the vault that Nick is in? I think it is. Yes, that's right. We came out of the vault. Out. You're right, right, right. We did that way. Okay. Huber's Comics, if you want to get some of those badass items from there, very good spot. Some good magazines in there too, but we've already just kind of done our little hidden jump thing i kind of want to go after a swan right now uh before we do that there's actually on our right a really cool spot the boylston club I, if i recall it actually is supposed to have a save in there now this is a pretty interesting spot this is one of those like side lore examples where there is n pretty much nothing in here that's useful unless you're trying to collect like a lot of wine but uh it's a suicide pact uh it's kind of it's kind of scary when you, in a way but uh, what basically all the wine is poisoned. Everybody took the poison wine as kind of the, it was very expensive to be in here, but everybody killed themselves basically at the end of the world rather than being exploded. And you can read about that on this terminal. I like how the, the music is still playing. I think that nobody was playing pool when they died. Though, you know, worst case scenario has happened, no bed. Oh shit, I don't exactly want to go fighting after Swan if uh, I don't have a save first. Super mutants are over there. Normally it's raiders on this side. Totally missed the fact that there was a bunch of Nuka Colas right here. Unless there's like a robot that keeps stacking that. Save off real quick before we go ahead and try to fight Swan. I think that's a safe idea. Alright, let's go kick Swan's ass. Pull out our well damn him on fire. Take a little swig of water first. Dirty water, because we're just hardcore like that. Oh well, let's uh let's turn Swan into a piece of poops. 
Wow, a lot of a lot of pain for him. Boom! All right, now we're gonna switch to my Thorita, pull out our AP, and just start getting a critical. Get a critical. Got that critical. Switch to the Gamma Pistol. Aim for the head. Fired. Critical double shot. Does not do a lot of damage. Switch back to the Mothorita. Get another critical. Not enough. Ow, oh, my goodness. Switch. Ah, switch into this. Fire. This gun is the best gun ever. Man. That was really all we needed to do. I'm not going to pick up the Furious Power of Fist. I don't really need it. Ooh, heavy leather. That's kind of cool. Mm, we're already kind of overweight. Now I'm just looking at it because it's like, it's so cool. Ah, we have parasites. Oh, we can, uh, we're actually almost to whatever it's called. The magical place of good neighbors. So I'm sure there'll be a doctor in there who will help us with that. God, that fight against Swan was pretty simplistic. We've, uh, we've gotten pretty powerful. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Good Neighbor. How can I take you? How, how does Good Burger bu work? Damn, how does that? It's like, welcome to Good Burger. I hope you have a good time. A Good Burger. How are you doing? A Good Burger. Can I take your order? Something like that. That was that was Good Burger. I'm trying to recall how that was. So this guy's gonna try hey, to muscle hold us. Hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor. You can't go walking around without insurance. Now, if we were playing anybody else, we would like shoot them all over the place. But we're gonna try back off. You better back off. Or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Uh, no, I don't have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors <laughs> of the people, for the I'm people. the mayor. You I just me? kill people willy-nilly. Sounds like... So, our character is a good person, right? So, he will be saying things like, sounds like anarchy, or good neighbor, or I feel you, and that kind of thing. I just said yes, because I thought it would be kind of funny, but we got to stick to our character, so sarcasm. Of the people, for the people? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm going to like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hey, there was a, in the background, I actually remember, there you are. Yep. It's always fun to see him everywhere. All right, so we got to go to the bar that's over there. But first, let's find a save. It's actually probably where we got to go for the bar, now that I think about it. This actually is a hotel, though. I'm a little confused, but so let's go here first. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? <laughs> My mistake. Oh man, someone new. You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? Nah, I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm all right. Not interested. All right. Oh, wow, he just... Before you even okay. start, let's skip to the point. We have rooms. One room specifically. Payment due up front. This woman is awesome. She looks like the woman from uh, Orange is the New Black. Forgetting the French woman. All right. Here. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. Sick. Let's do this. I just clean up around here. You're right, Stan. I am tired. Tired of this hotel. Tired of all. Are we this supposed to kill Morowski? Yeah. Fucking face wow. Standing here every I did not expect to find him. I used to that's earned huh. the right to upset me. Do we just kill time. him? Huh. Well, let's go to sleep for now. I've actually never really explored Good Neighbor. It's uh, I've always in my personal playthrough. I just kind of jumped through here real quick for the main story, and that was it. Oh! Oh hey, it's us. Excuse me. What? No, it can't. It. It, it, it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? 
That's me. Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. 200 years and you're still perfect. Thank you. How's that possible? Uh, cryostasis. The blood of my enemies. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? Vault Tech never told me that. You know, our character I'm actually didn't do that. So I should have yeah. said something different. I'm sorry, I I'm not falling into the roleplay very the well. Hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Jesus. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Ghoul? I guess we apologize. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from <laughs> before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement <laughs> once a ghoul with 200 years what about of a vault? vault tech sales experience. Uh, go to Sanctuary, stay new. You know what? Let's see if we win it. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. Never. I promise. Never really? will. You, you will? No, I'm sorry, bro. Okay. I'll head over there right now. You. Promise you'll come visit. <laughs> Never right? ever. In fact, we're just gonna go to the crater uh, Adam. I'll see yeah, I'm you sorry, there. dudes. I started playing outside of the roleplay. Our character should have said blood of our enemies or something silly like that. This is us, right? Yep, this is us. Whoop. Alright, well, uh, let's see what we do with Morowski, I guess. I, I think I wanna confront to him. And it ain't used to be much. So oh, well. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. You want I should kick his ass, boss? Not yet. Let's see what he has to say for himself first. You seem upset. What's the problem? Hold on, let's ask what's the problem. Do we have some kind of problem? You know exactly what this is about. You stole from me. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't know who you were stealing from. It happens. Now you do. Those were my chems you took when you ambushed Trish. Why accuse me? What makes you think I had anything to do with that? Here's a tip. When you steal from me, don't leave witnesses. Makes it real easy to figure Trish out who did it. Trish told you? It wasn't me. Too bad. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know those were your chems. Yeah. That's a good start. Here's the deal. You pay me 2,000 caps and I'll forget this ever <laughs> happened. Just this once. That's too much. What if I don't pay? So what if I don't pay you? There's one really easy way to find out. If you're that kind of stupid. I'm getting very tired of looking at your ugly face. It's 2,000 it caps to square things. What'll it be? No. Not a chance. Then we're done here. Stan, my friend here was just leaving. You heard the boss. Let's go. What happens if I stay still? Hey there. Hotel ain't what it used to be, but don't go shooting it up. Hey. Hey, Morowski. I hope you're here to pay up. Oh, interesting. He, uh, he won't just, like, go and kill you. He just asks you to leave. Well, you're kind of a chem dude. We just saved. All right. Nothing happened. All right, uh... Let's just, uh, get rid of the evidence. Apparently you can't pick him up. There we go. First you have to get him naked. Alright, he was sleeping on the couch. And then he had a terrible... Fan accident. Terrible fan- Oh, God! Oh, it blew through his head. It was terrible. Oh, God, no! Stan, you shouldn't have been there. It was terrible! Oh, God, Stan, I'm so sorry. Whoa. Hi, Fred. All right, dude, so I think that's a good spot to end it there. So, uh, well, that was interesting. I didn't realize Morowski was just gonna be hanging out here. So, sweet, okay, we uh, we got rid of that thing. No problem. Anyway, dudes, we'll continue. We'll go ahead and start 
finding uh, the sister, Emma Jean, and kind of selling some stuff and doing that. And so, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, the subscribe button to my side. Of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sun shone warmly in your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.